Hello, welcome back to another episode of Blood Talk. Today's topic is potentiator. More specifically, PEG, PEG indirect anti-globulin test, or polyethylene glycol anti-globulin test. By the end of this video, you will learn what PEG is, why, when, and how we use this. We have a lot to cover, so let's get into it. A potentiator is a reagent compound used to enhance reaction. In blood bank, we use potentiators to enhance our reactions to promote agglutination. Basically, we use it to make weak reactions stronger. Sometimes the agglutination is not as clear as we like, so we add the potentiator to see if we can differentiate it a little bit more. PEG or polyethylene glyco is one of the common potentiator used in blood bank. It works by removing water molecules, which help concentrate antibody and RBCs in the test tube. This interaction results in enhanced red blood cells to uptake more antibodies. If more antibodies bind to red blood cells, the reactions are stronger. The stronger reaction means we can see the agglutination better. PEG is more sensitive than LIS, which is another potentiator. However, you will have to be careful with PEG because it also have a higher false positive rate. PEG is a good detecting IgG alloantibody or autoantibody. It can miss clinically significant IgM alloantibodies. So if you suspect IgM, then using PEG may not be a good choice for you. PEG is recommended to be used when antibody shows weak reactions in Coombe phase. Let guess to know how we use PEG. Procedures. Step 1. Two drops of patient plasma or serums in a properly labeled tube. Step 2. Add one drop of reagent red blood cells. Step 3. Add two drops of PEG reagents. Mix well. Step 4. Incubate test tube at 37 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes. Step 5. Wash the cell four times. By filling up the test tube with saline, centrifuge it for a minute, discard the soup in it without disturbing the pellet, and repeat this step four times. Step 6. Make sure you decant the saline completely after the last wash. Step 7. Add two drops of anti-IgG. Step 8. Mix well and centrifuge. Step 9. Resuspend the cells by gently checking the test tube. Step 10. Exam the agglutination. Step 11. If negative, add one drop of Coom control cells, or commonly known as check cells, and centrifuge. Adding the check cell to our negative tube is to check that the anti-IgG is working and presents in the test tube. Therefore, if your test tube is still negative, your test is invalid and have to be repeat. Thank you for staying with me until the end. What do you want to know next? Do you want to know more about blood bank, chemistry, or microbiology? If you have any burning questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Lastly, if you have not done so, please like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell. I will see you in the next episode of Blood Talks. And as always, remember, your blood tells you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye.